Hello and welcome to TriTech's instructional video on successfully configuring your PCR to billing Nemesis import file. My name is Nick and in today's part one of a two-part series of videos I will be walking you through all the requirements of preparing the billing software to receive the Nemesis file. This video is meant to complement the attachment that you received in your welcome email from the educational rep that's been assigned to the project. The attachment will also outline all of the required fields in red and will list some of the tips in, in, that I will be going through in this video. If at any point you have any problems, concerns, or questions, feel free to pause the video and contact your educational rep directly or contact response support at 1-800-987-0911, option 5. With that said, we will begin by building out an agency. In my example, I will be using an appending to an already existing agency and you may already be doing the same. If you are, however, building a new agency, we'll begin by populating the ID, description, and then if filing to state from the billing software, you will select the run sheet that's applicable. If none, then select Nemesis Import. If there is a run sheet, then select it from the drop-down list. I will select Iowa Run Sheet 2015 since we are located in Decor, Iowa. Then moving on to the General tab. Populate the agency name to match the description and then populate the agency number. Now the agency number is something that's assigned to you by the state and should be available to you. If not, contact your administrator or more than likely it's framed and hanging up somewhere on the wall in your office. Next, populate the time zone and select the daylight savings time if applicable. From the requirement standpoint, you're done. You can hit save. And at this point, we ask that you contact your uh, educational rep that's assigned to your project and let them know that this has been completed. A lot of the uh, process and setup that's required on the TriTech side hinges on agency being built out. So once again, we ask that you build out the agency and contact your education rep to let them know that this has been completed. Next, we will move on to staff codes. Codes, staff, and once again, I'm going to be using um, a staff member that's already in the system, um, but we're going to be populating the required information. So I have Abney K with some personal information populated. Now, none of the personal information is required and it's entirely up to your business preference. Uh, what is required is obviously either ID, the name, whether it includes all companies, and then what type of staff this is. Uh, our example is going to be a crew member. What is required is the state certification. Now, once you move over to this tab, select from the state run sheet from the drop-down list. We once again find Iowa. Enter the, their licensure number. What level they are, we will use advanced DMT. And whether national registry credentiated. Yes. Now, certification dates. As I'm filling these out, um, I'm going to notify you basically that the only scenario in which these have to be filled out is if you are filing to the state from the billing software. They're not required if you're filing to the state from the PCR software, but we still encourage you to populate them. Um, we ask that you populate them accurately, regardless whether required or not, because the state is never going to ask you for less information. But once that information is populated, once again, you are done. You hit accept. Forgive me, the dates are incorrect. And you may move on. You will need to do that for each individual staff member that you have. Next, we move on to call signs. Call signs are located under Field, Info, Run Sheet tab. Once you get in here, you will select EMS Unit Call Sign, which is located right here. And I will be using already built out a call sign. Now, all you're required to add is ID and the unit des description. And again, all companies are included. Once that's done, hit save and you're done. Enter them, again, as many as you need to 
or as many as you'd like to see come over during import. The save is not highlighted for me again because I'm using a already existing unit. Unit 2. And last but not least, units. Codes, unit, and I will be using an existing one again. If you are building them out, you will populate the ID in the description. The type of unit it is, again, include all companies. And under the unit tab, populate the actual unit name or number from the EPCR, PCR software, into the VIN number. This is an important part of the import. So it, once again, the VIN number is going to be the unit name or number that the crew selects in the PCR software. That's what the import will look to match on. So in our case, uh, we're going to be using unit 2 and select the call sign that we just built out in the previous example. You may populate the license number, the type of vehicle, And if you choose to save the VIN number, you may enter that under the vehicle ID. Now next you will need to add the type of crew members that this unit will have. Um, in our example, we already have a driver and an attendant, and we will just simply be adding a third attendant. And it's going to be another primary patient caregiver. Now, as you saw, majority information populates on its own. If you wish to change the label, you may. But once that's done, accept, OK. And now we have a third crew member built out for this unit. An important thing to note when it comes to building out the units is if the unit has three crew members assigned to it on the PCR side, but you only have two member types built out under the unit's um, configuration, during the import, none of the crew members will, will be populated unless there is appropriate place for them. So if you have two built out in billing, three coming over from PCR, none of them will populate. However, the unit information will still populate. Okay? Once that's all populated, hit save and proceed to do that for each individual unit you have. Uh, call signs are optional. But as you saw, you will build out a call sign before you build out a unit. Um, and if you have any questions, contact TriTech support or education rep assigned to you.